Hey all you gamers out there, it's Hardtalk2 here bringing you another let's play of World of Tanks. I'm trying out one of my old headsets just to get my mic sorted out so you guys can hear me a little bit better. Uh, I want to give a shout out to uh, my ISP, MWeb. I thank you for the 512 line. It's great so far. I really, really am enjoying it. It's been now six or seven months now of me being signed up for 512 line. I mean, I get a stable ping of 350, sometimes 400, and I mean, for this game, you know, it doesn't stutter as much, but if you, like I say to everyone else, if you've got a good computer and you've got a normal 512 line where you get decent speeds between 35 kilobytes to 40 kilobytes per second, I mean, then it's great. Then you can actually play this type of game, and it's not that bad. I mean, I'm still also having a little problems of, ta um, you know, doing the video thing where I can actually have an in-game sound with me speaking, but unfortunately I just can't have that luxury because, you know, I can't really afford the frap, so here I am. Anyways, we're going to start off again. I still got myself my um, VK3601. Uh, someone has corrected me on that, uh, Panzer. The VK um, selection of this tank is actually a prototype, sorry. Ah, man, coffee tastes really great. <laughs> um, I've trained up all my crew members now in my tank. Now they're all at 100% and now they're training on camouflage. So if you get that up to 100%, apparently your tank can be somewhat invisible or some sort. But I'm just trying out that theory. Anyways, um, we're going to play a couple of probably one or two rounds on this. It's going to be one video of me playing another match and then we're just going to keep on going and I'll try and keep on talking people through the game and you know get people more aware of what's happening in the game thus far from what I've heard next month they're doing a hard wipe and apparently I think they are going to be releasing the game uh, they'll, yeah, or opening up the game so everyone can play it um, everyone can still play it now but there's like a strict uh, restrictions and so on because uh, it's still in closed beta testing alright let's start uh, playing um, here we go Okay, hopefully this match won't be that bad. Oh, it's a, my favorite map. Okay, I'm going to tell you all uh, ahead of time. Uh, I'm not a really great person when it comes down to doing Let's Plays, but I, I really do try and I welcome any feedback that you can give me. Uh, that would be great. <laughs> uh, I do love this map. I just hope I can can load me in because this map uh, has got a couple of heavy heavy tanks in it like everything you see here all the t29s and the kvs on team 2 that's dangerous stuff that i mean this is one of the one of the thousand heavy battles that this tier system that they've put in the game actually switches you into which is kind of crappy but it's okay i'll try my very best of what I, what i can I mean, I do have the latest gun for my tank, um, although I do want a new engine so it has like more maneuver so I can get out of battle quicker than I got into it. Come on boys, come on. Like to remind everyone, I don't have the one of the best of computers. She's gotten me this far through the years. It's been about two years since I've upgraded her, and it's kind of expensive. Anyways, here we go. The battle has started. We've lost one person, and they've lost one person. I'm gonna try my very best to get out of here into cover. <coughs> Just to also tell you guys, if I do die, I will have the, the video running for just a little bit, but not too long. Because uh, some of these heavy tank battles do 
do tend to last until that uh, talk, that uh, timer at my top right hand of the, the screen runs out. And uh, it's really, really long. Uh, there's a tiger tank. You do get tiger tanks in this. Um, get quite a lot of stuff uh, from World War One and Two. I, I do believe. Excuse me. <coughs> the whole point of this is not to get killed. Uh, well, yeah, well, you'll get killed, but um, not to really rush into it like you do with Call of Duty. You know, like run. Uh, what's it? Spray and pray. You really can't do that. You've got to really think your way of maneuvering and doing certain things on the map. Ah. Hmm, that was a really great cup of coffee. Damn. Once again, that red icon you guys see at the moment, that's just disappeared. Um, that is enemy. Three stripes means it's a heavy tank. One single stripe means it's a medium tank. And then I do believe if it is a uh, a diamond shape, then that's a light tank. And then if, if it's a, a triangle, I think it's a triangle. I'm not really good with my shapes. But anyway, if it's a tri triangle like this green triangle that's in front of me, um, then it's a tank destroyer. Alright, we got something flanking. Alright, let's see if we cannot try and see it. Oh, no, oh, man. I really, really don't like the T29s. They are heavy. They're very bad. They naughty tanks to kill. Oh, thank God this other guy could kill him. How badly is he destroyed, though? <coughs> Sorry. If the battle carries on too long, I mean, I'll put it in the description how how well it went. Um. But yeah, basically you get different shell types that do different types of damage. I've got the almost the least expensive shell type on here because I don't like to spend too much on ammo for the tank. But you get your Armor piercing, then you get your heat round, then you get uh, high. Uh, I, I can't really remember it. He, uh, AP rounds, heat rounds, and then there's something else. There's three of three icons at the middle, bottom middle of my screen. You'll see those three icons. Right now I've got AP loaded, and I do not have heat rounds, which is that orange, and the black one is a special kind of round. See, with this map, you just cannot rush right into the middle area, or that's your death zone. Uh, what we tend to do is go up the hill on my left, uh, uh, my left up up on the hill, and we go up that way, all right, and then we like flank them, and that's where mostly the art artillery, the red artillery, sits, and it's it's hairy when you get up there, really hairy, hairy situations. Let's see if this guy won't. You know, he's got about 80% 80, 80 of his health left, and I'm still at an 850. I do thank you, MWeb, for a lovely uh, gameplay last night. I had about 350 ping stable, just like right now. And uh, it, it was a really great game. I mean, I killed like seven tanks. And of course, um, the, 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 I reversed a T1 heavy, and it was a heavy tank, and he had the latest gun on, and uh, he got me down halfway, and we were like literally point blank range, and uh, what ended up happening was, uh, he was face, his uh, side was facing me, and my forward was facing him, and he was just shooting away, and his rounds kept on bouncing, and it took me about two, three rounds just to blow him away at point blank range. I mean, it ain't that bad. It wasn't that bad at, at all. And the guy that just moved to my right flank down there with the three green stripes over there, uh, he's taking heavy hits. You can see the smoke down there. There's just 
can just see poofs of smoke. So he's getting zapped. If he does stop, he sometimes means, uh, oh yeah. And if people are wondering, can your tracks be blown off? You, they can. Anything in this game, it can happen. Like, say for instance, your turret gets hit uh, too many times. Your turret can jam, and it does take about 10 to 20 seconds for the crew on the tank to repair it. Your tracks can get hit, your your ammo case can blow, your radio man can get hit, and you know, it's all up there, you know. Everything can really get damaged, and it can, at the end, like jeopardize your tank, and you won't be able to fulfill what you are, uh, well, what you're supposed to do. A little bit of lag there, and it looks like my eldest brother's decided to go on the internet. Uh, we've got a tank destroyer there. Uh, let's see if we can't shoot him before someone else does. He's a bit far away. Ah, there we go. Someone else has got him. Guys, like I said before, and I'll say it just uh, again, if no one understood me, I am, a, well, I'm not really good at the Let's Plays. I, this is basically my third or fourth time I'm doing this. I'm not really great at it, but I really, really try. If you've got any tips, I, I really, really welcome them. I really do. Okay, let's see if we can't take out this heavy. Ooh, 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 ooh. There we go. That went right into him. Come on. I should. Hmm, someone's having a bry. Nice. Sometimes my rounds like miss, the reticle the down in the middle of the point is actually my uh, my accuracy. There we go, hit him. His arse is currently facing us. And that's a tiger, ladies and gentlemen. Always remember if you watch Kelly's Heroes, the tiger's rear is the the weakest point of the tank, literally, and it is true. Now hopefully we can round this off over here. I don't want to really show my ass here to everyone. Oh, a little too late there. Hopefully we can get done before my brother starts using the internet. Uh, this looks like a successful game. Due to the, the fact that we've got a lot of heavy tanks on our side. There's one tank that I really, really can't take out. Oh shit. That tiger tank ain't happy. Oh yeah, that tiger's not happy. I'm actually kind of surprised I can kill a tiger tank. Uh, you'll soon die now. There we go. Took out the tiger. Ice four. That's a bitch to kill that. I gotta watch out now. Cause that was a definite hit. Um, as soon as his round hit my tank, um. I heard this like fizzing sound, and he's obviously using a heat round to try and penetrate my tank. Oh, there we go, we won. Awesome, more experience. Well, that's the end of this Let's Play. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I do thank my ISP MWeb. Uh, if you guys do not have MWeb in South Africa uh, as your ISP, I know they a lot of there's a lot of problems in the gaming area, but they have plans for this year to. Um, Open up their peer, oh, peering, peering, yeah, peering areas. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this. I'll have another one um, in the following day or so, or probably we'll make one at, at this very second again. Thanks for watching, and thanks, Mweb. You guys are great. Cheers.